Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting in my bullet journal. So today I'm just going to go over my May 2022 monthly overview. This is my monthly spread. I like to set it up um, ahead of time um, just so I know what's coming up and how I can adjust my current budget potentially um, depending on what is coming up in May. So anyway, if that is something you're interested in seeing, keep watching. So here is my monthly spread. On the left side, I like to have the columns just, I have written here to do, but sometimes they're just reminders. And um, I wanna remind myself that on the 6th, on the 6th, the new Doctor Strange movie is coming out. So, we actually didn't go to any movies yet, but we do plan to see the Dumbledore movie this week, hopefully. Okay, so Doctor Strange. And then 16th through the 22nd, it's my daughter's finals week. I'm writing it here in case we need to go um, go pick her up. Still not sure what she's doing for the summer. She did sign up for summer classes and they're in person. So I might have to help her move out of her dorm into another dorm. I'm not sure, but I am putting that here just to remind myself that I might need to take a trip down to SoCal to help her out. All right, so sorry about the lighting. All right, so on to the rest of the month. Um, I have on May 1st, the rent is due. And then my Bank of America card payment is due. I do have a balance on that account. Um, I will be dealing with that hopefully before, before my next paycheck. So, oh, payday. Let's do my payday in bold. Old Navy card is due. That's currently at a zero balance. Um, but I like to put it here to remind me. Um, sometimes it just reminds me to check my balance to make sure, or check my account to make sure there's nothing due. Um, because I don't want to get like a late fee or a, anything like that. Um, PG&E is due on the fifth. And my T-Mobile cell phone bill is due on the 7th. iCloud is due on the 8th. And these look kind of messy right now because there's pencil. And I'm writing pen over on top of it. Um, but once the ink dries, I'm going to erase that, that pencil. Um... Delta Care comes out on the 13th. My auto pay. Um, water's due on the 14th. Most of my bills actually do come out of auto pay. And now that I think about it, um, the only thing that doesn't is like my rent, the PG&E, the water. Yeah, that's it. Everything else, everything else comes out on auto pay. VSP vision, and this is my vision insurance. And so something different on this calendar is this triple A. So my membership is up for renewal. It's technically due on the 15th. That's when it renews, but I might just go ahead and pay that early um, 
with my May 4th paycheck. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I don't have a sinking fund for this. So it's probably just going to come out of my car maintenance fund. Um, I was going to say my gas fund, but I don't think there's extra money in there right now. There's just enough for gas. Um, so yeah, my car maintenance fund. Then my car insurance is due on the 17th. And my gym membership is also due on the 17th. And I'm going to put an asterisk on there because I need to cancel it. Um, but like I said in my other videos, I am putting it on there because if I don't budget for it and I haven't canceled it, and it's, it's going to really throw me off. So and then payday again on the 18th. Netflix is due on the 22nd. And then I have Disney Plus and Hulu. On the 27th. And then I have Blue Shield. Blue Shield number one and Blue Shield number two. And then I also have here in gray the first day of June. Um, I had like an empty square here anyway. And then I use this, um, these empty spaces, this empty space for notes. Um, so I decided to go ahead and in gray June 1st on here and I do get paid on that day and rent also happens to be due that day so that works out and then I mean also the B of A is going to be due that day so maybe I should write that also there you go and that is it. That is my monthly overview for the month of May. Um, my color scheme is going to be yellow, which is not really much of a color scheme. It just means um, all the headers and stuff on my uh, the rest of my bullet journal is going to be in yellow. So anyway, this is my budget overview, or this is my monthly overview for the month of May 2022. If you like this video, if you like this kind of video, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.